And welcome back with Mad Mr. Gaming and the Captain of Industry Let's Play Episode 18. I had something completely different planned for Episode 18, but I had a disaster in the petroleum plant and the power plant. The power plant went down, petrochemical area got backed up, plugged up, shut down. I was running out of fuel. Luckily, I had a lot of storage of diesel to keep the vehicles and excavators moving, but it was a disaster. And I think it's because I've, I've had this reoccurring bug. I probably should finally look this up on the game's forums. I've only had it happen with belts, but this time I had it happen with some pipes. Uh, the bug that I've had with belts is sometimes the belts will be It'll be, it'll be system working fine. I'll go back if something stop and a belt will be going the opposite direction it should and it doesn't work. Um, so that's easy to spot on a belt because you see things that you're not seeing movement anymore and you'll see an empty belt. It's harder to identify in the pipes. And I had that happen in some of the pipes and I couldn't fix it. Finally, I had a tear a bunch. Of, I had a tear stuffed out and put it back in all the while trying to keep the base up and somewhat functional. And that was after I had built some stuff to improve my production output. And after I had also gotten rid of all the starter trucks and moved on to the larger yellow trucks and the whole thing just put a massive strain on the system and it went down. So we're gonna go over that, but I wanna show you guys the Roger Young is looking like a proper warship now. It's got some more upgrades left, but it's definitely uh, an improvement. Uh, this is a lot of firepower for a ship this size. I mean, it's got two triple super firing turns to the front and two tr super firing triple mounts to the rear. Uh, lots of firepower. It has a, a uh, battle score of 480 now. Um, which is cool and I haven't been able to get back to the pirates because I've been trying to fix the base and I do think I am behind in where I should be at in the game based off of the re research I've accomplished how long I've actually been playing the game and what I have uh, accomplished so let's just do a quick overview before I get into trying to explain what was going on in the petrochemical plant and the power plant so I was building a ramp of, of iron above the iron because I have no place to put it because the original factory here was sitting here in the way. Basically, I copied it over, moved it over, got rid of the old factory and started building another iron ramp right here, which is where I'm going to want to dig all this out and put it in this area. So when I do go back to mining it for production, I can stick one or two excavators in and the only thing they're going to be mining is iron at that point doing the same thing with coal now just very barely started gonna build a coal ramp I want to get this whole coal seam out of here and piled up right here for the only thing in it is actual coal also kind of doing the same thing for the copper although I, I'm stacking the copper onto where I'm going to be mining the rest of this copper seam. and this thing goes a long way it's gonna be a while before I run through that and also moved the copper production facility away from the edge over here because it was going to start getting to the point where when I start digging, it was going to start collapsing down and also put a larger storage facility here and cleaned it up just a little bit. And I stopped this digging uh, operation here and moved all of the excavators and trucks to right here because I want to go straight across over there. I'm actually digging it down to level one right here. So I'm going to come back when this is done and I'm gonna put a layer of dirt so I can, this is gonna turn into the farm area. I was gonna take it all the way down uh, to a couple levels down here, but I decided, you know what? This is the level of the island I think I'm gonna dig stuff down to. So once we're done here, we'll go back to that and continue that. And I, that is it. Other than let's look at the hodgepodge. I got some, some pipe spaghetti going on also clean some stuff up and added a few things so when the system backed up because there was four different sections of pipe that were all of a sudden running in the wrong direction um because it was so stable and i was producing diesel as such a it was had been running for so long i had got to not really paying attention to it till i had a massive brownout and when i came over and looked 
obviously this generator right here the way this is set up and i'm gonna i want to tear this out this is gonna go away but this generator right here runs non-stop because it's basically it's overflow steam for the system so it just it's non regulated it's just gonna run and run and run and run so i saw that that, that wasn't running which I thought I had a problem up here. And then I noticed the diesel generators are running. But we, I had installed the larger capacity turbines over here. And this thing had only been running 50%, providing way more electricity than I, than I needed. So this medium oil tank was empty because it's being fed from this system over here. The medium oil over here is coming down to this tank to feed these gas boilers and they all went down they all stopped also this system backed up and this system stopped also so the first pipe that I identified that was having that was not functioning properly oh and then my fuel gas level was almost zero and I was not burning fuel gas that fast so what had happened the first one I noticed was the fuel gas outputs from distillation stage three and the cracking unit they were going into one pipe that was feeding toward the fuel gas and the pipe was twice as big as it needed to be it wasn't producing that much fuel gas well there was a section in the stack and i took the whole stack down there was a section in the stack that was face that had gotten switched to the opposite direction so once i found it for fine i'll switch it the other way and it should flow it didn't happen that way it would not flow fuel gas and i still got some crazy turns in here the system would not flow fuel gas to the tank and it remained backed up. Now my face is itching. So I had to tear the whole pipe out and rebuild it a couple different times before I could get it to work. Uh, and the first fix I tried to do is I put this, this balancer in there. That didn't work. Feeding two lines in a one. It seemed like they were not wanting to join together in a pipe like they had been forever. So I ripped the whole thing out and added that in there. The second backup was in the i believe this right the heavy oil line which is a secondary burn well primary <coughs> this gas boiler is trying to burn heavy oil first before anything else well the same thing happened there a section of the pipe was all of a sudden trying to flow the wrong direction when i went to fix it it wouldn't let me and i had to tear the whole pipe out completely and put a whole brand new one in there before it started up again and those two sections had plugged this whole system up and the whole system came crashing down. But that isn't the major problem. I had electricity problems. So what I had to do, I had to add another coal fire boiler in here to get the system back up and running electrical with coal. And it's still somewhat using it right now because I mean the snake, the pipes, there's a lot of, this needs to be cleaned up, but I want to make sure it's stabilized. And I'm going to leave this one until I, after I get rid of this system up here is going to get ripped out and when that one gets ripped out then i'll come back and fix this down here and in preparation for that i added a secondary process for processing crude into medium heavy oil which is going to produce diesel and light oil which is also going to be producing naphtha and fuel gas now to keep this real simple i am just merely burning off the heavy oil and for now, I'm just burning off the naphtha until I get the rest of the system up and running to, to handle and process the naphtha. And when I also finally get to uh, the distillation, I think it's four, uh, which is right here, heavy oil cracking, where I'll be able to turn heavy oil uh, with hydrogen into diesel and fuel gas, but I don't have that researched yet. So right now on this system, we're just burning it off for right now. And because there's two diesel producing systems up here, I needed, I'm going to duplicate this three setup. I'm going to duplicate it uh, right here in front and we'll have two systems. So we're going to be doing uh, what? Uh, 36 uh, and I think what? So uh, 72, uh, 98, we're going to be producing 98 diesel per 60 once that's up and running. I uh, upgraded these two fuel storage tanks to storage four, this is still storage three. And I just want to store as much diesel as possible in case everything goes down, which I already have. Now I'm, I have actually 8K units of diesel in storage. And before I think I was sitting at 
six and a half tops. So that's what was going on. The whole system crashed because of pipe blockages. Oh, and the other pipe blockages were up in here and it took me a while to figure those out because I got pipe spaghetti going on and I just got to the point where, you know what, we're just going to tear it out anyway. And I just kind of fixed it the way it was and left it. The other thing that I got going on because I had to rerun some piping is this section right here is, is all crazy. I mean, I got pipes looping, loop de duping all over the place and I want to straighten this out also. And I'm going to move the chlorine production uh, out of this area and get it someplace else. I'm thinking about tucking it in right here to try to get it out of the way because once this all this is torn out i'm gonna add storage tanks for more oil more diesel more fuel gas in this area and they're gonna be the level for storage and then i could probably try to get to what i'm going to do with all of this sulfur i was working on that but now that got put on a back burner because i feel that i need to straighten this out first because this is an absolute mess so the first thing I think I'm going to do is we're going to move this electro like we're going to build a different electrolyzer over here and tuck it in because the lines that it's being fed off of are right here. Um and what's going on here? Why I don't understand why there's two brine lines It's not producing that much brine. It's only coming off of two and it produces 48 brine, which one pipe can handle. This thing will take 36. Um, yeah, I don't remember why I did that. But anyway, so we're going to get down to one brine line. And then we're going to lose one of these because we're only going to need one for that little bit of overflow that we're not going to be processing. So I think to start with, we're going to get rid of this pipe right here to right there. We're going to use uh, Unity to get rid of it super fast. Doop, get rid of that. That pipe is gone, which doesn't affect this because there's still enough going out for it to be okay. So we're going to copy the electrolyzer um, I don't want to block the actually no I don't want to tuck it in there too bad I couldn't tuck it in over here. oh there is room oh there is room for it right there look at that oh man oh sucky sucky if Brian could go in, and what I what I'll do is I'll put a pipe balancer back here. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. Why is it that there's always trucks trying to get in a way where I'm trying to be working at? So. Actually, hold on. Let's see. Where are we going to put the tank? Or, I'm gonna, or am I going to pipe it? Oh, no, 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 no. That's what we're going to do. No, no, no. Get rid of that. We're going to turn it around. Because I'm going to send the chlorine that way toward where all the storage tanks are going to eventually be. So we can put it back here. I wonder if I can get a pipe out of it. Let's see. Uh, how much is it put out? 24 chlorine, so a small pipe is fine. Yeah, we can get a pipe out of there easy. So we're just going to put that right there. And then what we'll do is we'll put the pipe balancer right here. Right? And we will do... Oh, I got it turned around the wrong way. I did it again. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Copy the brine line needs to come on this side. Put it there. Pipe there to there, which is good. Um, let's build this because I'm going to start using it right now. 
So what we are going to do is cut this line right there. Take that into there. Take that into there. And build it super fast with Unity. And that'll be the priority out will go to the electrolyzer and any overflow it doesn't use will go to the discharge line. So that is good right there. Let's Unity build that. Let's get its output pipe. Coming out. Uh-oh. Is that not gonna let me do that for some reason? Let's raise it up, we'll stack it. We'll stack it right there. Kind of an ugly looking pipe. And then you know what we'll do? I wonder if there's room just to drop the tank right there temporarily. Because I'm gonna need storage for it right now. Uh three well, let me stick it right. Actually, will the big one, bigger one fit there? Uh, if I move this bridge over, it will. Will that cause me any, any hassles down the road? I don't know. Let's see. Let's get rid of that bridge. We'll do it fast. They can still go around the other way. Not that big of a deal. But uh, I do want to put the bridge. No, it's this one's the bigger one. I do want to put the bridge back in. We just want to tuck it over a little bit to the side. Magic build that. We want to select chlorine production. Let's build the line. And we'll build a large tank right here right next to we'll push it up a little bit though right there quickie build that and come down and just needs a small pipe because uh, on to there like that we want to, we're going to pause that. We want to empty that. And there we go. It's already producing. We're already producing chlorine. Again. What, what's going on here? Okay, that's not Doug. And, uh-oh. What happened here? Ah. Trash backed up again real fast, huh? Okay, okay. So, that was that was super fast. That was super fast. So, edit the area. Um, let's go back to making this bigger then, I guess. Go there. Boom. Dumpy dumpies. Just like that. To there, or it's going to plug up the system it can't be in the light green part so we're just gonna we're gonna do that that is plenty fine so that one is good let's fix this they got done digging what they needed to dig what happened here what's going on here uh, i don't know what that's all about and let's fix this before we go back to mining operations uh, we got a lot of copper. Oh, actually, no, we don't. That's what I'm talking about. You got to keep an eye on stuff in this game because it gets out of hand real fast. This one seems to be deeper than the other one. We're going to go down to 14. Although, even if I do get behind on copper production, I got a lot of copper plates in there. All right, back to this. 
that tank is empty so we can get rid of that and that and that get rid of it fast this tank is backing up not backing up yet but it's and that's the large one but this is fine because i want to start the tank farm up here all right so diesel is up to 9.1k units I wish these tanks were turned around the other way where the inputs and the outputs were flipped, but that's okay. We're going to get to that. And let's see. The other thing I want to get rid of, I want to move this ammonia tank out. But right now, I think we're good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this, but the part that it's not going to work is this back piece. Uh, we're gonna have to put its own get it on its own steam generation Because I don't think there's enough left over So let's see it's all I kind of like this the way it is right now, so we're just gonna copy this setup We're gonna copy it to right there uh, Actually, let, let, let's put it here for now and then we're gonna get rid of some stuff. Like we don't need this. We don't need that. Uh, we'll leave the two upper sections. Okay, so let's cut. And let's see, what can, will it fit in here? It doesn't look like it's gonna fit in there. Uh, actually, it almost will, but I have some other pipes in the way because I had to, I wasn't thinking of that. So let's see, how are we going to do that? Should I just put it next to it? Just pipe the stuff over? Just like stick it right here. Just pipe everything over. I got room for trucks next to it. I think that's what we're going to do. So if we're going to do that, we need to trim off this, these stubs. Yeah, we're going to trim those stubs off because they're going to be connected to. Uh, we can bring the oil line back up the other side and stack it on top of here. Let's cut it. And let's get it roughly where I think it's going to be. Which is right there. So we have an oil input we need to work with, which is right here. It's just gonna be an easy, easy job. Actually, we're gonna go with pipe now. This was fine, because that's the only thing on the end over here. And we'll take it straight. We'll take it one past. We'll put it right there. Oh, never mind. Too high. Mess that up. Go back. That's where we want it. No. Stop trying to connect. And then we'll bring it across to right here. Bring it to right there. And boom, now we have oil to the first machine. Now we need to get the, actually, let's, let's take this off right here. So now we need to get the diesel and the fuel gas lines hooked up. So the diesel is this, oh, we have an input on the diesel line right there too, sweet. Sweet. That works out good. So we're going to go diesel. Raise it up. We'll go here.
connected into that diesel line. That's good. We got diesel hooked up. Let's quickie build that, quickie build that. Oops. Now we need to just get the fuel gas line to the fuel gas output, which is, should be that one right there, right? This is fuel gas right here. Yeah, fuel gas. That's going to be an easy connect. So let's go pipe. And we'll just take it on the other side of this. Uh, it's one, two. Did I connect to the right one? Yes, it did. Let's quickly build that. Boom. So the diesel output and the fuel gas output are connected. Uh, so the only thing we got to deal with now is getting steam into the system. Now, uh, it's backed up because it says it's not running full tilt because the gas boiler is helping it. So, I mean, do I want to risk this nonsense happening again with these pipes? So this is the steam input right here. So let's get rid of it, how it stands. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this, ah, this other one, what am I thinking? The other one's a steam output, that's fine. This is the steam input. Uh, so it needs nine, 15, 18. So it's already putting out 36 because it's pump. It's in. It's it's fueling that one too. And it's also running. This coal generator is also helping this one because it got backed up. Uh, to power the desal plant and I think what I'm gonna do is we're just going to you know what let's see u-shape conveyor should we just if I do another boiler I need to bring water to it also this takes 48 water that one takes 48 water these are only putting out 24 wait a minute what that's not right 48 48 they're only putting out oh I'm sorry yeah 48 each one's putting out 48 so it's a, it's enough because it's also using water for that but they don't run all the time I wonder if I should just do its own its own system there. Cause this was actually using more steam because of steam. Actually, no, these things don't take yeah, they all do take steam, right? Yeah, so uh I think we should just build its own. We might be build another D cell setup specifically just to run these two. And we'll pull the steam line off of there. Yeah, I, I guess we'll just do that. We'll do that. Uh, starting to get crowded back here. So let's say, what do we need? Nope, turn it around. Uh, we'll put it. I still need to get a truck to the cold. Well, I can't block that off. Uh... I guess I could tuck it really close back here to leave the front, but then I need to get the pipes, the steam line up and over for the trucks can get still back here. Or I could just raise the steam line up and tuck it in tighter on this side up over the top of this. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's cut this. Actually, no, let's, let's cut this one. We'll cut that one. We'll connect this direct like that. I think this will get over. I'm not sure. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a pretty tight. That's pretty close right there. Huh? Okay, we'll do it right there. We'll do that right there. That's a steam line for the center the center hookup. Uh, let's just take this out. Take that. Take that. Take that. Raise it up to there. How come it didn't connect? Oh, it's a ramp. That's fine. We'll connect it right here then. Why didn't that connect? Uh, what's with the red? Oh, I know why. It's the way the pipe construction works with directionality. So, this can make it, right? Yeah. Let's raise it so it's easy for it to get to it. that like that there we go steam 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 uh, let's connect this up to uh, oh again with the same deal right here we'll just make it longer We'll pull it off later. We'll chop it off. There. Oh, that didn't connect. Sometimes it's a little annoying. He wants to connect that time, right? Yeah, there it goes. Okay, that's to the new steam line. Now, if I keep everything... If I don't put nothing on the ground, the trucks can drive underneath. But I can always just stick this. <coughs> I can always stick that coal bin way up here somewhere and just run a belt back there to it and the and whatever the second one is going to be. So we can do that. Uh, the sour water line. going underneath we'll just make sure we know that it's, it's right there that's the output sour water line uh, now let's think about what we're gonna do for getting I mean with these two systems they're gonna generate enough medium oil and heavy oil to probably run one gas boiler Which means I would just have to pull water. That's 48, that's 48, and it's backed up. I would just have to pull water off to power just these three. Now, do I want to do it that way? Because that'll, that'll make it so I could kill off that burner right there. Actually, the gas boiler will also burn naphtha, right? Sure does, but it's 36, and it's only producing 12 naphtha. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. It's going to be, whoa, whoa, truck, what happened here? What happened to you? Where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to go? How come you can't get in there? Huh? Oh, you dug your... Come on, man. Why would you do that? Uh, oh, I see it dug a ledge instead of... Oh, man. Come on, man, with the ledge. There we go. That should fix it. 
problem is, so what I'll do is I'll just recover that one. And why is it not allowing me to do that? Uh... Come on, man. Can we just... <sighs> Why is it not letting me recover this? The recovery function is specifically for this. There you go. One of them is still being stubborn. Come on, man. Why, why are you being stubborn? Pause. Okay, we'll pause that one so he's not being, can't be selected. There we go. Ay, ay, ay. Are you going to be able to? Here, so let's take that out, that out, that. Did you drive down there? Uh, I think you drove down there, and I don't know if you're going to get back out. Take those out, take that out that I need you to dig that ramp actually that's not gonna work huh there's gonna be another ledge going all the way up oh you got out of there let's get these out of here can you drive up over there no you can't now see this dummy got recover see that I don't like this about the way this works this is annoying we're gonna end up having to dig a ramp all the way back up look at that with one because it won't let me the they finally let me recover it. Uh, there we go. Finally, let me recover it. Okay, so as long as the excavators don't do nothing stupid, like dig the stuff that I need them to dig, I need you to dig that ramp so you guys can drive in and out all the way. Ah, oh, what a pain. What a pain. How much? All right, we'll have to come back and check on them knuckleheads. All right, back to this. Back to this, back to this. We're just going to do coal. We got we got so much coal, we're just going to do coal. Uh, so we the truck's going to drive underneath there. We'll put the other coal bin right here. No big deal. Uh, water. Thermal desalinator. Uh, it's the wrong way. Wait a minute, is that the center one is the water line, right? When I get it done, no. The center is a steam, is that the way I do it? I don't want to go back too far because I need to actually let me put that in there first. I need to put this one of these in first so I know where to. Let's go there. So let's see. Uh, 
can get it right there, right? So we can branch off still. And copy, flip. Like that. Now to get the steam line to work, if I remember right, that's the water line underneath. Right? That's the water line. That's the steam line. Yeah, so steam. We need to over we need to build it long. Then go from here to there. And then go from there to there. Okay, why why is that not working? There it goes. Now we could get rid of that stub. And then the Why does it seem like I got this backward? No, there's the fresh water brine. Yeah, I don't know why it seems like it's backward. I guess I did do this kind of goofy. I'm just, uh, why'd I do that? That's dumb. Why? Don't ask me why I just did that. I don't need to build it that far. I just need to do it right there. God, my nose is itching like crazy. I just need to do it right there so I can do this. To the top, right? Yep. Boom. To the top. There we go. Now I can get rid of that little stub. So now we have brine going into, I mean, we have uh, seawater going into seawater. We got the steam line coming down. And we're going to need the fresh water going into the... Uh, Okay, let's see pipes. So that's that's elevator, right? Yeah, good. So we could take the fresh water. We need to make a little bit of space. We're gonna go. Is that on the ground? Ah oh, man. Let's kill that steam line back to there. Going there. That's the fresh water that's going to come back to the boiler. And then its steam line is going to go back into there. So let's figure out where we want to put that thing at. We're going to do a coal for now. We're just going to let it, we're just going to run coal because because coal right now is super cheap. Let's just which way I want to orientate this thing. I guess right there works. We're going to go water. There's water. We're going to go steam. Raise it up. Raise it up. Drop it down. Connect it in. That's the steam. Uh, we need its stack do, 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 right there. And then we just need its coal input. And I'm thinking I'm just going to put a, a large coal bin back here, a bigger one, and just belt them both together. I think that's probably the best way to do it, right? So let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. No, because it's too big, right? It's way too big. I mean, I guess I could do that. It's just way back here. Or I could just run this belt. I think we're going to just belt it. Because it doesn't take that much coal.
and the truck should be able to get to it still. What I'm doing is running it backwards. I want to make sure the truck can get right next to the right next to why did that go up oh it's already up I want to make sure the truck can get right next to and it didn't connect did it So now the truck can get right next to the to the bin and still be able to fill it. So let's build the belt, the stack, the board. Actually, let's build all of this back here. This is good. We're going to build all of that. And then the only thing left to be is going to be steam. And I'm about to put get some water into this too. So this steam line also needs to share off of this. And I probably should have put a pipe balancer in here, but no. It should be. I should just be able to plug it right into the top. Yeah, let's just. Is that connecting? yeah okay good build build and now I just need to get rid of the brine and we're just gonna dump we're just gonna dump the brine we are oh no mm. that's why we So we need to raise that higher, huh? God, this looks all messy now again. I'm trying to keep it from being messy. And it's freaking messy again. I don't like it. It's not letting me do what I want to do. Now I kind of wish the steam line was low. And the water line was high. Because then I could just ramp the steam line. That's what we're going to do. Can you, can you just, ah, Lee, I hate when it does that. <sighs> okay, steam line is going to go low now. I mean, not the steam line, the, uh, the water line. What the heck is going on there? And it still didn't take it off. So water coming out flat. No, steam line coming out flat. Steam line coming out flat to there. Because then I could take this down flat after raising it into the air. We could drop it. Because then I can put a bridge over it, which is stupid, but we'll put a little bridge here. Just like that. Let's quickie build this. And I can already tell, I can already know in the future, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change this because it's already bugging me. Uh, water.
Water's in. Uh, Brian needs to come out. Uh, I got a feeling that this isn't going to want to hook up. So we might have to do something like that. That. That's what I thought. No, don't connect. And then we'll combine the two brine lines into the discharge. What a pain in the butt, man. What a pain. And let's put this. I don't even need I don't even know why I'm using a big pipe, whatever. There we go. Let's magic build all that, that. And now we'll magic build this and that. Just barely enough room, huh? I thought I was to tear it out and move it that way. Okay, and then we need to uh, get we need to get some uh, uh, fresh water into this system from somewhere temporarily just to prime the system up. And that's this line right there. So where can I pull some water off? That's a steam line. This is a water line, but man, it's tucked up in there real crazy like. But I just need it temporary, so I know this looks crazy. I'm trying to make sure that the truck can get to this coal bin still. Because I only need to pump water into this for a little while. Just to get the system primed. Just to get the system started. And I'll tear that line out of there. Uh-oh, what happened here? You guys dug the ramp? Okay, good. Now, you could dig that, that, and that. So that's good, that's good, and but yeah, we're fine. Okay, system's built. Get some water, priming it up. It's got water. Why is it saying that the system is plugged up? No discharge. What do you mean, no discharge? Oh man, I, I didn't connect to one. Hey, wait, wait, what's going on here? Oh, I see. Ah. Oh. This one should be fine. Full output. Wait a minute, what? How is it full output? I mean, what happened here? I I got one brine line I need to connect up still, but so let's see. Full output. Mm. Aha! Toggle direction. And we gotta see if this thing. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. S 
Nope. That's not going to work. Uh, oh, man. Uh, this brine line. Is that the right one? What a mess, man. What a mess. What a mess. What was that, Brian? Yeah, okay, cool. Let's see. Is that going to work? That's running, that's running, okay, cool. It's running, it's running off of coal, which is fine. We're burning naphtha again, and we're burning heavy oil again. Ooh, got the fuel tank upgrade for the boat, for the Roger Young, so it has more range. Let's go ahead and get that started. Man, what a, this was, ah. Fuel tank, boom, boom. 300 steel, continue, easy peasy, chicken squeezy. What a mess. What a mess. What a mess right here. What an absolute mess. I, I'm probably going to come back and do something with this off camera because that stuff's boring to watch. Well, I had to mess with the petroleum facility again because of issues. Um, I'm not even done. It's still messy. I mean, I just proved it right there. I got to come up with my some designs that are easy plug and plays. I just haven't spent the time to do it. And I need to rip this out because this is this is done. I'm tired of looking at this garbage up here and ooh, fuel gas is 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 uh, full up. Uh, let's go ahead and just. Let's go ahead and just build another tank. I mean, we're going to build a tank farm here anyway. Diesel is fine. We have 10,000 units of diesel. We should not run out of diesel again. We're reclaiming land still over here. I wanted to, uh oh, is this blocked? Can we trade? Is it? Oh, it's not blocked. Okay, look at it. it built right up to it. Huh. I didn't realize I did that. I'm glad. Wait, I could, that, that one's easy to move, though, so it's not that big of a deal. Ship modification complete. Sign. The Roger Young now has what kind of range? The Roger Young has a fuel tank of 200. There we go. There we go. And I think that's going to be it for this episode. Episode 18 was a disaster. Petroleum, or I should say the refinery complex disaster. That's what I'm going to call it. Refinery complex disaster because the refinery went down for all kinds of reasons. And it's, honestly, it's probably because my, my builds and my designs aren't quite right, which is causing the issue. Except for those sections of pipe that were flipped the wrong direction. Like I said, there was four of them. So I, that wasn't me. Anyway, this has been Bad Minister Gaming back on episode 18 of the Let's Play for Captain of Industry, early access game on Steam, which probably explains some of the little bugs that I've been having. If you like the game, continue to check out here or check it out on Steam. Either way, I'm cool. You guys have a great day, great evening, great week, whatever it is. Just have a great time doing it. And uh, I'll catch you all on the next video. And I am out.